Thanks very much, guys. We're back uh, with the studs in the studio, the studio. as they say. Uh, we have a new guest, uh, CCP Nova. Uh, welcome. Thank you. Uh, so if you've been following the Alliance tournament, you've probably seen CCP Nova before. You, you, you're kind of, you're probably the, the person that's been involved with this project for the longest time. Have you been here since Alliance Tournament 1? No. Uh, it was uh, CCP Le Monde who started it. Oh, yeah. And uh, it was quite different from what we have today. It was more rigid. The, the rules were really uh, set in stone that you could only uh, bring a certain number of ships and they had to be a certain number of types. Uh, mainly because there were some limitations on, on mm. how, how um, they could uh, monitor the things. And, and they didn't have so many people involved at the time. Uh, when, when Le Monde, he, uh, he moved on here, I think he, he moved on to another company. I was asked to, uh, to take over the Alliance tournament. Mm -hmm. And uh, so my, my thought was, how can we make it as free flowing and, and, uh, and uh, you know, open cool. as, as mm. possible? And I got together with some programmers and asked them, you know, how can we, you know, the tournament uh, view, we see the, all these mm. ships on the side, you know, how can we create yeah. that system? Yeah. And I'm really happy to see it's still yeah. going strong and, you know. So that's something like Tournament 3 or something then or something? That was, we called it uh, Tournament 4. All right, all right. You know, for some weird reason. Was it number four? Because then it's a really good reason. I think I think it was number three, actually, because, okay. <laughs> because you know, there, there was some event which was it's like edgy marketing. I don't know. I don't know. It's, like, today, uh, it's like the Final Fantasy, you know, uh, games. You know, it's called Final Fantasy Nine, but but it's not it's not really Nine, you know, yeah. or something. But they're like up to sixteen or something. I know. Ridiculous. I know. <laughs> it's like, oh, that, right. that's yeah. just the American numbering. This is screwing everything. Up. <laughs> <laughs> it was like two in America, and four in somewhere else. I don't know. Yeah. But I mean, you you've been uh, involved with this tournament since forever. Yeah. Uh, so w for the people that don't see you on screen all the time, yeah. what, what exactly do you do here for the tournament? Well, right now I'm simply managing the teams. I'm, oh. I'm, I'm just making sure that everything is is, is uh, set up correctly, that they're on time. Uh, we move them to the tournament system, and uh, everybody's comfortable and ready, basically. So whenever someone tells me that uh, Godfather's brought 11 pilots, AAA brought 104 points, that's you basically <laughs> checking that out and going, Jesus yeah. Christ, guys, what are you doing? Well, partially, partially. partially. I, I, th I think uh, the. Uh, the tournament managers are also running a, a script to double check, you know. So it's, we're, we're double checking each other out. Yeah. All right. Uh, the people home didn't actually see uh, how GM Nova got here. What, what happened was that uh, somebody came in and told Navigator that his former corp was not actually in Pandemic Legion, but they joined Goon Swarm. So he fled the stage in shame. We had to find somebody, and GM Nova just happened <laughs> yeah. to be there. Um, so we have a question thread on the forums. A lot of you have been posting questions and comments about my beard. Um, we're kind of neglecting those questions. Should we do a few? Okay. A few for you guys. I love the community. Uh, first, uh, first question from Funkadin, whose name I've butchered and mispronounced for a long time, but I now take pride in actually pronouncing correctly. Uh, Funkadin, um, what's your opinion on ECMs in the tournament, and how do you think f uh, fields, uh, teams can beat a 100% ECM setup? How do you beat those teams? ECM doesn't do damage. So ECM teams, they're not going to be destroying anyone in the enemy team. All it takes is a couple ECMs to fail or miss or get killed, and then usually those teams just cascade straight down. So I'm not a big fan of ECM. I think they tend to be slower teams anyways uh, to watch. I like lots of stuff blowing up. Shadu, you're up against an ECM team. How do you beat them? Well, you have a couple of options, typically. I mean, nowadays, ECM is chance-based, and the higher your uh, resolution is, which you can fit some ECCM mods for, the better chance there are that you might be unjammed for a moment. And as Sastro correctly picked up from me uh, offline, uh, you know, when, uh, when, know a pure EC <laughs> when a pure ECCM, when pure ECM team loses some of its members, that's it. It's gone. It's done. Yeah. All right. Uh, let's just grab two more. Uh, this is actually one from a Pandemic Legion uh, member. Uh, Probably team. not a very good question. Though. No, uh, let's skip that. Uh, <laughs> will PL have difficulties uh, rolling over the opponents with uh, Mr. Rive on the team? Uh, <laughs> I don't think they have any chance with Mr. Rive on the team, actually. Yeah, uh, I think the wheels fell off that, uh, that attempt. So. Yeah. Is, this, uh, is this someone they have to bring in because we've basically stolen two of the tournament members? M Mr. Rive has been on a downward spiral for years now, and uh, I think he's hit rock bottom at this point. 
I think if, uh, if Mr. Rive is on the Pandemic Legion team, then you should put your money under Shikan. All right. But uh, on a serious note, is the team affected by you and Ravi being here? I don't think so. Like I said, I don't actually. I haven't done anything for the last three years or so. They've invited me to uh, fly on a couple of the finals just so people can shoot at me. But um, Ravi, yes. He was the brains behind our last tournament and uh, it's going to be very challenging coming to the next weekend. I think this weekend is fine, but the next one, um, yeah, gonna we're going to be handicapped. All right, well, we have probably my favorite match of the day, uh, my favorite match. Let's get uh, Raiden and Darkseid up on the screen uh, and let's see what, what, we're, what we're looking at. This is one of my favorite matches of the day. Uh, let us see. We have. There's a logo. You may notice thing. that Raiden does not have an Alliance logo, and oh. statistically today, so far, teams without Alliance logos are not done. hundred percent of the matches with teams without Alliance logos, uh, they've won uh, they've zero zero percent of the time. One hundred percent of the time. Yeah, However, they do have a dot. Uh, both teams have dots. Oh, oh so so. That is a pretty important thing. The dark side statistic looks a little bit strange, though. We don't have any of the games played but they still fielded a total of 574 ISK. <laughs> <laughs> uh, that's a pretty strong statistic. The, um, <laughs> unless it counts that this match. Just, be, just because they've been able to, uh, to put up those statistics, <laughs> then I'm going to have to go with dark side on this Do you know one. what? If, if you can field 500 ISK worth of ships and make it into a, the Alliance tournament through two qualifiers, you're a pretty good team. Absolutely. I think that, that, that they're going to be my pick for this match. Yeah. Plus, I have an Alliance logo. You've, you've basically fielded like a fertilizer from the NPC store. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I think you guys are wrong. I think their Alliance logo just happens to look a lot like uh, a logo from an Alliance that, which doesn't have a logo. Uh, it's pure coincidence. Uh, and I'm going with Red and So logo. they submitted yeah, yeah, that yeah, and logo. It just that's looks, actually looks that their way. logo. Yeah, that's actually That's clever. Mm. Clever girl. Uh -huh. <laughs> uh, so if we were to just uh, do a quick round, this is probably my favorite match of the day. I think that Raiden are going to win this one. I have a lot of faith in them. Uh, what say you, Sastro? Definitely dark side. I am going to go with Raiden just because... Um, you like being been, wrong. Yeah. <laughs> I haven't been too wrong in the past <laughs> so far. Mm -hmm. That's not what Vanguard so Raiden, thinks. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm going with Raiden all the way. Raiden as well. So my mouth, my three Raiden, one uh, Dark Remember what happened last time? You all went against me. Yeah, it's true. It's true. You do have the advantage there. Anyway, let's see. Raiden versus Darkseid. <laughs> 